Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second, well, part two of uh, stock market mistakes I done made, you know, in my journey to investing in the beginning. And um, I hope you enjoyed the last one. But um, a couple of things came to my mind. I figured I'd do this part two. And um, man, I done made some crazy mistakes, for real. Um, so let's get into it. Um, if you first time here, uh welcome and if you've joined me before on past videos and enjoyed them welcome back all right let's get into it i had to write this down because I, it was coming to me when i was driving so i figured i'd write it down all right here we go i talked about this the last time uh not sticking to the plan now you might have to wear I'll just give you my account instead of just trying to broaden it. Um, like I said, I would get stocks. I'd sell them the same day, make a little bit of profit from it, or sometimes I'd lose. But um, I would buy stocks because I felt as though that's what I wanted to invest in for the next 10, 5, 10, 20 years, right? Good, solid companies at that. These are not no fly-by-night companies or companies that are startups and with huge potential. These are companies that, you know, have been established. You know, and um, I would get these companies and I'd take them for granted. I'm like, okay, oh, I get this. And then I'd see something on TV. And they'd be like, oh, in the next five years, you're going to see this much growth. And I didn't know how to read PE ratio. What the, it, it, the stock had a dividend. I was just getting stuff because just to say I, I got it. And it was a big mistake. Um, then I would get it and then I, I wouldn't even hold it for a week. I would like just <laughs> something crazy. I would just get rid of it. Like, oh, I see something else on TV, CNBC or something like that. You got to watch when people are talking. They're just making news. You know, every investment that's good for somebody is not good for you or good for me. And I had to learn that the hard way. You know what I mean? Um, another thing is um, not understanding what the dividend is. And it's funny. I, I, know the dividend, I knew the dividend was a certain percentage. But I didn't know if it was quarterly or monthly or yearly. So when you look at your, like when I looked at my statement on Ameritrade, I looked at my a statement, say like a stock has like a 4.3% dividend. I'm like, man, that's 4.3% of your money, you know, per year. But next to it, it might say $1. Now, I didn't know that that percentage, if it's a quarterly dividend, is divided by four. So if it says one dollar, that means you get twenty-five cents per stock every quarter to equal that dollar per share. Me, I don't know that. I'm thinking every quarter you getting that dollar, not, 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 not twenty-five cents. You getting a whole dollar. Man, I was buying like shares of stock, like just putting money in the stock, and I wait three months. All of a sudden, I look, I'm like, these ain't the kind of shares I'm supposed to get. Like, where the dollar at? How come I make? I got 100 shares. Why I make $100? Where does $25 come from? And, like, I had the dividend reinvestment program, which basically they just add shares to it. And if you don't have enough for four shares, it might give you, like, 3.178 or something like that. It always breaks it down into multiples of the dollars and cents that you have. And I'm sitting up here, and I'm like a dummy, like, man, what is this? And not knowing that, you know, understand what that means and, and, and how it equates to you in your portfolio. And I'm sitting up here looking dumb. I'm buying stuff because it might say $2.50. So I'm buying 10 shares thinking I'm getting uh, $12, you know, or, or $14, $15 every quarter. And going to, go, it's going into, the and, and it wasn't even like that. So I'm like, you got to understand what these, these things are, like beta, PE ratio, earning per share. And you got to know all those terms before you even start. I mean, you'll be like me, jammed up, looking stupid. You know, hey, how's it going with your stock market portfolio? And then I'm telling people about it. I'm like, yeah, if you just bought this, what happened? I'm like, ah, losing money. And nobody that invests is going to tell you this. A lot of people just be looking at it like, oh, he'll, he'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Another mistake I did was I would go to like a lot of my clients 
and I would be like, yeah, you know, you need to get with this stock and get with that. And these people are millionaires already. Who am I? I'm up here telling them, oh, you need to get with this. Are you missing it? There's one thing about stock market. When you start learning about it, you want to tell everybody about it. You know, you want to you, you want to you want to share the knowledge. You, you want to share that you're doing something positive and you can see in the long run how how it will complement you and it, it will help you be a better person, you know, financially. And it can free you. The stock market, by far, in my opinion, is one of the easiest ways to uh, to wealth, you know, and, and getting freedom in your life to where, you know, you have a lot of possibilities because money you know will multiply so that, that's that's another thing i did another thing is i did is uh i mean that goes along with what i was saying uh listening to stock tips you know i would see something on tv and you know luckily i didn't jump on palantir when that was out you know oh palantir everybody jumped on palantir oh in the next five years palantir is gonna be this be that be that and Palantir went all the way up. I think it was like 50, 60, 70 dollars. I can't remember. I ain't seen I ain't seen about. But what was it? Last week it just went bankrupt. Now imagine all them people that was bullish on Palantir, like, yo, I'm sticking with it. No what, no matter what, I'm riding with Palantir. Now you smoked. What if you had it on margin call? I mean, if you had it on margin. What if you had just brought it on margin a week before they filed bankruptcy? Mm, think about that. Your hair be white like when Jonah got swallowed by the whale. For real. And I, I it's, there are people out there that are probably going through that, and I feel for them, you know. Um, but I mean, I don't judge because everybody has their own ideas of where they see themselves going, and you know, what what they think a stock is going to do. You know, you never know what a stock is going to do. Where it's going to go up or down. You never know, and that's that's a good thing. That's why it pays to invest in good companies for the long run that you know are too big to fail major corporations you know another thing that i did and it just comes to mind i don't have this written down when trump came into mark in in, in into the presidency and he was like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm like yeah trump is a businessman the stock market went wild and that's when i jumped in i jumped in at that time everything took off <laughs> everybody made huge gains right and then Trump left out and everything starts slowly going down, going down, going down until we're, we're where we are now. Now, people made a lot of Corona. Uh, well, I'm going to say I don't want to say that the C word, but for YouTube. But when we had the pandemic, that helped with, with the market readjusting, too. But um, readjusting is normal. But the thing is, me, I got too panicked. Like, oh, oh what's happening? Oh, and then I'm looking at these nuts on... uh. TV, oh, sell, 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 sell. And then I know, I'm like, okay, it's a thing here to spread panic. You know, financial media is still the media. You know what I mean? Now, I don't watch the news that much unless it's something like about war or something like that or something, you know, sports or something, you know, normal guy stuff. But as far as that, I really don't get involved in, you know, politics and stuff like that. But, um, not to jump off I apologize not to jump off subject but yeah um man don't don't fall into the fear Arbor. and the last thing I'm gonna say I'm gonna make this video too long and this is the craziness right here don't mess with margin never get margin now, now, now I don't want to say never I don't say because I have margin now because I understand what it is and how to use it but before man margin shoot margin was uh it was rough what is it like an eclipse it's dark in here okay here we go yeah uh i didn't know what margin was so when i was filling out my account it's like oh do you want to apply for margin i'm like yeah you know what i mean like i told you i was doing what i was doing before and acting like you know i uh knew what i was doing and I'm like, yeah, I'll do margin. So what would happen is, what margin is, is when I think when you get up to like $1,000, or it might be 2000 all of a sudden, you are eligible for margin. Meaning, what the amount of money you have 
the brokerage firm, whether it's Schwab or whoever, right? They will uh, match you almost dollar for dollar in a loan so you can get more stock. So say, for example, you got $5,000, right? You got $5,000. They will match you $5,000. So you can buy $10,000 worth of stock off of $5,000. And the interest that you'll pay on that loan is what they'll be pulling out as payment. And you can buy and sell as you choose, you know, and it has its advantages, margin has its advantages. Say you see a stock that hit, you know, uh, hit its stride or, or like it's down, but it's a really good company and it's at the strike points price that you want to buy it at. And all of a sudden you don't, but you don't have the funds. That's when margin kicks in. And then, you know, you pay it back gradually as it goes. But the reason why margin is so dangerous is because if we have a stock market collapse, you know, or like how the market's dropping right now and everything's going down and, 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 and getting crazy, you're going to get what's called margin call. Margin call is when they call and they say, okay, the stock is dropping. We're going to need some of that money back. So what you got to do is either sell your stocks or lose them. And it's the stocks, it might not, it's the stocks you bought. The equivalent of a margin call, so the margin call might be for $200. Because the stock fell that much. You might have to tell, sell two hundred dollars worth of stock. It don't have to be the stock you brought off margin, but it had to be something. And they are gonna be coming for it. And I think they give you like two or three days to do it. And the reason why I found out, and I avoided it, I, I barely escaped. Man, I had like five thousand in in in, in, in the account I opened, right? And I looked at the thing, and it was like a uh, tradable asset, a uh, 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 money money available for trade ten thousand. I said, what the hell? Oh, that's margin. But I didn't know. So I'm like, boom, I start using it. So now my portfolio like worth 10,000, but it say 5,000 and like with margin, you won't see it unless you look in the part, the description part where it says, you know, where it has your finances of how much you owe and you won't see it. It'll just say 5,000 plus whatever the amount of margin you have. If I, if I remember correctly, I didn't use margin in a while. But um, so what happened was the market started falling when the pandemic hit. And I was up. I mean, I was up, 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 up. With that Trump bump and all that rally, I was killing it. So, you know, my dividends doing good. I got contracts, which is 100 shares of stock and certain things. I'm feeling real good. Like, man, all I got to do is just chill, chill out and just keep adding, keep adding. Man, all of a sudden, yo, they was like, margin call. And you get this little, it's like a, a little message at the bottom. When you sign in, it say margin call. I said, well, what they want? Margin call? I'm thinking, yo, <laughs> it, I'm embarrassed saying this, but look, I'm thinking that margin call is like a conference call. And they're going to call me and tell me, offer me something because I'm doing so good in the market. I'm looking stupid as can be. So I'm like, why I keep saying margin call? So I tap on it. And they're like, yo, you owe 500, your mar margin call like 552. I said, five, how I owe you money? I called them. Like I said in the first one, take advantage of your resources. Don't act like you know everything. Call these people because this could have ended real bad for me and I could have had a real messed up day. So I call them, they real nice and helpful. They're like, yeah, that's the money we, you borrowed from us. When the market goes low, we need to have that money back. If it goes too low, like it's going now, and I jumped out the margin quick, but it cost me 500 something dollars of my own stock. And then in addition to jumping out the margin, so I lost. So I'm up here thinking it's a phone call. Like they're going to be like, yeah, Steve, congrats. You got what it takes. You're doing it big. Yeah, all right. Man, I was looking crazy as can be. But you live and you learn. And all this happened in my first few months in investing and learning how to invest. That was years ago. Now I'm okay. But, man, do not mess with margin if you don't know what it is. And it does have its advantages. I mean, when the market is going good or like you know you got something that's too big fair or a boring company and you want to jump and use margin with that and then the interest is right where you know you can deal with it 
and you, you're paying and adding money into your account, you know, it's okay because you'll have a cash reserve and the margin call won't be as bad. Another thing is I did, and this will be the last thing I say because I got to get out of here. Um, always have cash in your account. Don't spend all your cash on your stocks because if you got zero in there, something's always going to come up. It might be a stock that you, you got right now. Something might happen and the stock might, you might get some, I don't want to use the word inside. You might get some information, man. Wait, whoa, this is coming out. Man, I need to buy some more shares because I know the stock is going to go up. And sometimes you can judge it. It will go up. But you don't have the money. Now you're panicking. You see what I'm saying? And the last thing I want to get at, which I probably just said with the last thing, but this just hit me. Stuff hits me when I start talking. Um, stick with the plan. You know, like, um, don't jump out of a company just because you hear something else. Stay with what's working for you. If you're making crazy gains with something, stay in it, man. Don't jump out. But, I mean, that's all I got for now. I hope you enjoyed it and everything. But um, I appreciate talking to you. Uh, as usual, I uh, upload videos every day. And I get enjoyment out of it. If you do too, uh, I appreciate it if you hit the uh, thumbs up button. Like and subscribe. And I will see you the next time. Take care.